Using Dowsing to Fine, Heal, and Amplify Earth Energies by Chuck Pettis. Hi, I'm Chuck Pettis, the owner and creator of Earth Sanctuary. I would like to tell you some of the skills and abilities that I use to create Earth Sanctuary. In this podcast, I will tell you how I learned to use Dowsing to find, heal, and amplify Earth Energies. What makes Earth Sanctuary unique and different is its magical energy that produces transformational spiritual experiences resulting in a heightening of consciousness and spiritual awareness. Here are several visitor comments. I found the sacred space is very comforting and I felt encircled by revitalizing energy. One of the most healing places I have ever been. Thank you for creating such a beautiful sanctuary with all of the blessings and positive energy that is truly palpable. There is a beating heart of love at the center of the universe. Thank you for this place of beauty and healing that allowed me to hear it. How blessed am I to be able to create a place for people to feel like this. After graduating with a master's degree in design from Southern Illinois University in 1972, I returned to Ithaca, New York and discovered John and Kate Payne and the Foundation of Light. At the time, the Foundation of Light was a spiritual center for meditation, healing, study, and self-expression. The Foundation of Light had regular teachings and workshops on healing and spiritual practices. For example, Dorothy McLean of Finhorn fame came several times and gave talks and workshops on communicating with Davis. Based on Dorothy McLean's teachings, I wrote a chapter in my Secrets of Sacred Space book that summarizes how to communicate with Davis. I will tell more about this in my next podcast. During the late 60s and 70s, many books about ley lines and ancient monuments, such as The View Over Atlantis by John Michelle, started being published by leading publishers, and I started building my extensive sacred space library. I learned about an exhibit on earth art with exhibits from Robert Morris, Robert Smithson, and others at the Andrew Dixon White Museum of Art at Cornell University. I was inspired by these artists and my lifelong interest in land art, ancient monuments, and sacred space became serious. In 1975, I began visiting many ancient monuments in England, Scotland, and Ireland. The first stone circle I visited was the Rollwright Stone Circle near Oxford in England. When I entered the stone circle, I could feel my consciousness change. When I walked to the center and sat down and meditated, I was able to go deeper, faster. This was clearly a place of power. So, with a bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's degree in design, I began a life quest to find out how carefully designed sacred spaces like this could evoke profound psychological experiences. The result was my book, Secrets of Sacred Space, Discover and Create Places of Power, If you're interested, the Kindle version and used paperbacks are available on Amazon.com. I discovered that water lines, water springs, ley lines, and ley line power centers are found at ancient monuments such as pyramids, stone circles, medicine wheels, shrines, cathedrals, and other sacred architectural structures that have power. These earth energies can be located by dowsing, so I learned how to douse from John and Kate Payne at the Foundation of Light. My learning began by dowsing for water wells. All the wells that I marked were successful except for one where the well driller moved my stake to another location. I was able to douse the depth and gallons per minute of a water well. Then I learned how to douse for ley lines. Terry Ross, president of the American Society of Dowsers, and John Payne are credited with discovering the network of ley lines and ley line power centers. When you douse for a water well, it is either there or not. Ley lines are different as there is nothing physical per se. It's a feeling, a field of energy. Ley lines are more subtle and difficult to douse than water wells and water lines. Ley line power centers are significant because they can alter and uplift consciousness. Strong human emotions experienced at a ley line power center create layers of consciousness over time that future visitors can feel and experience. Earth sanctuary sacred spaces are located over ley line power centers and are networked with ley lines. When you visit Earth Sanctuary, go to the center of each sacred space, close your eyes, and feel your sensations. How do you feel? Leyline power centers can be amplified through the application of a specific set of design elements. One such design technique is to juxtapose opposites. For example, crystals, stones, and minerals that are the opposite of the above ground stones are placed under the ground at Earth Sanctuary's sacred spaces. 
Herkimer diamonds and black tourlamine are placed under the labyrinth as strategic locations. Yin turtleback stones are placed under the Yang Columbia River basalt columns in the Cottonwood Stone Circle. Placing opposite forms next to each other creates a wholeness and ordered form that creates the potential for transcendental experiences, the creation of a new reality. Design techniques aside, what really counts is your experience of sacred space. To experience the sensation of ley lines and ley line power centers, visit Earth Sanctuary's ley line sculpture. The driftwood poles mark a ley line that connects the Earth Sanctuary Retreat Center and the Cottonwood Stone Circle. To experience the feeling of a ley line, stand between two of the driftwood poles and feel your sensations. At the lower end of the line is a ley line power center that is marked by a small driftwood diamond-shaped space. To experience a ley line power center, stand or sit in the middle of the diamond-shaped space. Some people see white light. Others feel like they are floating. What do you feel? When I first started dowsing, I doused in person at the actual physical site. This can cover a lot of territory and take a lot of time. So I learned how to douse with a map. So if I had to go to a specific physical location, I knew where to start, saving a lot of time. The Seattle Ley Line Map. In 1987, a $5,000 grant was provided to the GEO Group, that's geo.org, by the Seattle Arts Commission to, quote, explore their visions for the city of Seattle to consider the fantastic as well as the realizable, unquote. The project was commissioned for the visionary collaborations portion of Northwest Interpretations to represent what Seattle as a city might become. We, the GEO Group, created the Seattle Ley Line Project, making Seattle the first city in America, possibly the first city anywhere, to have its ley lines located and mapped. The purpose of the Seattle Ley Line Project was to identify and map the major ley lines and ley line power centers within the city of Seattle using dowsing techniques, and design and build a series of environmental artworks that will be used to mark and enhance the ley line energy. To create the Seattle Ley Line map, I map doused a large map of the city of Seattle. I map doused by holding a pen in my left hand and my pendulum in my right hand. I focus on, quote, ley line, unquote, as I move the pen over the map. When I feel a ley line, I stop, make a pen mark, and then follow the line, marking it on the map. There's a chapter in my Secrets of Sacred Space book on how this was done and the dangers of dowsing a large city like Seattle. From my map, we created an artwork showing the Seattle Ley Line map and proposed environmental artworks that is exhibited as part of Seattle City Lights 1% for Art Portable Works Collection. The artwork is encased in a wood and metal case in the shape of a squared circle. In the center of the case is a large map of the Seattle Ley Lines, and on either side of the map is a description of the project and proposed artworks to be built on the power centers in the city. The artwork and large map are on rotating display in city-owned buildings within Seattle. The Seattle Ley Line Project received front page coverage in the Seattle Times. All is not love and light at places of power. As I started visiting ancient monuments, I would occasionally come across places that felt dangerous or scary. From John and Kate Payne, I learned how to neutralize negative earth energies and pass over human entities, also known as ghosts or spirits. Subsequently, I began offering a geopathic survey service. A geopathic survey determines if there are earth energies, i.e. underground water lines, ley lines, and ley line power centers under a home or office, and if they are neutral or negative, i.e. polluted or potentially harmful. The survey also checks for the presence of human entities. If negative water lines or negative ley lines are found, they are neutralized. If human entities are present, they are passed over. This is a special spiritual practice that I do with the knowledge and blessings of my spiritual teachers. You can learn more at the geo.org website and clicking on Geopathic Survey. In my next podcast, I will talk about how I cooperate with and invoke the spiritual hierarchies. In the meantime, visit the Earth Sanctuary website at www.earthsanctuary.org and plan your visit to Earth Sanctuary. Thank you for your interest and the skills and abilities that I use to create Earth Sanctuary.